Hello, so today we got a call, garbage disposal, um, or I should say the sink isn't draining. They said the sink isn't draining. Um, and I'm saying garbage disposal because nine times out of ten if there's a garbage disposal, that's the reason why it's not usually a clog in your trap. Um, so I just walked into the unit. The first thing I can see right away is, yes, there's indeed water backing up here. And then I do check underneath, and of course there is a badger disposal so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to the switch we're going to see if we even hear the disposal come on I don't hear a thing the disposal is completely off what that means is something most likely got jammed in the blades hot enough that it stopped the motor and while the motor wanted to continue going you'd hear it humming but it can't go nowhere so what happens is a fail-safe switch shuts off the electric power to the motor so the motor doesn't keep trying to work and burns itself out. So most likely we have no sound at all or power to it right now because the fail-safe is off. So what I'm going to do is before you do anything, we're going to shut the power off from the electric panel to be absolutely sure first. So go find your breaker, find the one that is dedicated to this switch, and shut it off so you have no power at all to this so you can work on it without worry. Okay, so now that the power is off and I'm and I'm pretty sure you know that I can work with the system without getting electrocuted. Um, every garbage disposal comes with this specific key. Okay, it's basically just a hex wrench. And the first thing I'm going to try to do is see if I can't break free what's jamming it by utilizing this wrench. So what we're going to do is we're going to come underneath the sink and right under here in the middle there's a little hole where this tool fits right in. So immediately that kind of broke free. I mean this is probably the easiest scenario you could come across. It's immediately working free. I don't hear anything in there really. I don't feel anything obstructing this. What, what essentially we're doing is we're spinning from the bottom the blades that sit in here that do your actual cutting of the, the, uh, the material you're trying to dispose. So by doing this, you're moving those blades in there. So there's nothing in there right now. The water, I believe, just drained down if we look in the sink and it drained down so that tells me that it was disposal now underneath here also in the same area is this red switch that's your fail safe i'm gonna click it okay so i, I reset the fail safe now i'm going to come to the power Can you hear that? There's something in there. So we're going to shut the power back down. We're going to go in. Now I'm going to go in from the top and see if I can get away with not having to disconnect it all from the bottom and pull it down and get into that. A lot of times I can just pull out from the top. So let's see what we come up with. Okay, so I'm going to go in here and I'm going to see from the top here if I can find anything immediately. And just by feeling around, see if there's anything that I can remove by hand this way. And I do feel a couple things here. All right, whatever this is, I have no idea what that is, but it's hot and plastic. Obviously, that should not be going down the drain. So uh, what I want to do is flip the switch and see if that was the problem. Obviously, there's still some more down here. I do not advise you doing this with the power on and I definitely found another culprit bingo blue moon beer bottle cap and another piece of whatever this hard plastic is so yeah all day long beer bottle caps don't belong in there let's try again that sounds a little better Sounds like there might be one more thing in here. Let's just double check. I have no idea 
know what that is. What the hell is that? Don't know what that is, have no clue, not gonna ask. Still something wanting to bop around in there. And more of that plastic. So these are the items that I just pulled out of this disposal. Now we got it running clear. Let's add some water. Never run the disposal without water. It's not good. We have actual workage here. This was one of the easier ones to detect. A lot of times it get a little bit more involved. If any of these were really jammed into the blade, I'd have to go from underneath and totally disassemble everything and go about it that way. So this was a pretty simple one. Go ahead and inform the uh, owner and send him a bill. Thank you.